What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 20 and we're back after an update actually. They just updated the game and they added a bunch of stuff, which I haven't actually checked out that much. I've only seen them in the stream, so I guess we can look at them while we're here. Oh, let me turn this off. I was messing with server stuff. Boop. Uh, but one thing you'll notice real quick first is if you look in the bottom left, you'll notice our oxygen is high and the temperature is warm. We have sealed the base and we have made it uh, made it pressurized. So let me actually go and show you what's happened. So I'm not going to lie, I did go into creative mode to completely rework this room. I had to pretty much destroy and rebuild everything that we uh, had previously. Uh, but now it's rebuilt and it works perfectly. It's, um, it, yeah, it's fine. Um, so yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, pretty much I had to do this thing with the merge blocks to merge this grid back to that grid. I pretty much had to break every separate grid piece up into uh, smaller ships and then fly them into to the merge blocks connecting to the base to connect those. So it actually took a long time of just kind of messing around and trying to get stuff to merge properly. But finally we got it working and now we have the base completely pressurized. Whew, I hope a headache like that does not happen again because that took a long time to, uh, to solve. Uh, but let's take a look at what they've added, actually, because I haven't really seen it that much. Oh, man. I feel like there's more. And I think they changed the UI, maybe? Because when I look at stuff, the UI looks a bit different. Now, that could just be because I've made it uh, less transparent or more transparent so I can see through it. Um, but, I don't know. Did they change the UI? You guys can tell me that. <laughs> All right, let's go to G and see what they've added. Oh, man. What is that? Okay. That, that's the power line stuff. I can't tell from all the... Decorative blocks too. That's the new stuff. Okay. So they've got a dispenser. They've got a jukebox. That seems cool. I've seen all this stuff in the stream, but I haven't like actually messed with it. A shower, a window wall. So I'm guessing from a lot of this stuff, actually, we can probably make a nice room because we don't have any living quarters in our base, do we? That would be a nice thing to add, I think. Ooh, freight. What are these? Hang on. I'm going to add these to a, to a thing and see if I can build one. How does one build a freight? Looks like we need interior plates and construction components, so not that much. Let's grab some of those interior plates and construction components. Build a freight. That actually fills a, a nice little bit of empty space. We can add a couple of those. Wait, you guys are on the same grid, right? Real quick. Okay, yeah, you are. <laughs> Just acting a bit weird. That's what that is. Okay, let's check out how much storage space this freight has. Uh, wait, hang on. Large cargo container. Wait, that's not the freight that I'm looking at. Hang on. Is this supposed to pop up here? What if I go here? Oh, okay, freight. So it's got 30,000 liters compared to uh, the 4 million of a cargo tear. So not that much, but I think it does really good job of, of uh, hiding this empty space if we add a couple more of those. So just add like a freight right there, maybe. I don't know. Just make it look lived in a little bit. We'll add one right there. Then let's get some of the new one, the, the other ones as well. Stick one of those, one of those. What's this? That's a rotating light, okay. Oh, small control seat. <laughs> I saw everyone's hashtag uh, free the seat things um, when that stream was going on. All right, stick uh, maybe a, maybe a small one kind of in the corner, forgotten a little bit, and we'll build all these up. Should make the area look a little nicer. Yeah, there we go. So now it doesn't look as empty. It just kind of looks like we've got a couple of crates here that we've been working on. This stuff hasn't been transferred to the main room yet. I like that. That that's some that's some good addition. I want to see. So the the small control seat I think is just literally like a pilot seat, but uh, without the cover, and then it's got like this thing. Um, graded stairs are gonna be really fun. I don't know where we could use that, but I'm sure we could find a way. Uh, railing, ooh, railing. Um, don't know that we can use railing right now. Transparent LCD. Oh yeah, and the windows. Oh man, that's some good stuff. <laughs> I feel like we need to make a disco room. <laughs> okay, well we've we've had a little look at all the big stuff. Um, pretty much we'd have to go in creative mode just to build everything out to look at it, which we're not going to do because I'm sure all the other YouTubers have already done that. Um, let's get right on to the episode. So I think what we're going to do first is we're going to do what we ended off last episode doing, which was trying to build out this room and make it, uh, make it work properly. So let's start with that. We're going to go and grab, um, oh, you know what we need to do first? Actually, I'm going to have to open this door and in order to do that, I'm going to have to remove the oxygen from the area. So I'm going to make a button. And I'm going to stick it right here, and that button's going to change the direction of the vents. So it can suck all the oxygen back in before we open that door. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do that. And then I should really have like an LCD up here that shows the pressurization of the area, if I can figure out how to set that up. Uh, so, yeah. If you guys know an easy way to set that up, let me know in the comments, and we'll, we'll try and get that uh, set up. Okay, so buttons. G. Button. Get a little button panel. You know what I really like in one of their nifty updates? I would really like a way... To have just a single button 
that you can press. Like a single button on the wall, you press it, it opens the door. That would be cool, in my opinion. Uh, we need some computers. Which I think we have. Oh, uh, last episode we ended on a mining operation, so all that stuff is kind of processed. Especially while I was fixing up that room, so we have uh, we have a, a little bit of iron and we have a loads of cobalt. So we're not going to need that anytime soon. Let's grab some computers. Whoop. Hang on. Hang on. Am I am I full? No, I'm not. Why why is the computers not working? There we go. Shift click wasn't working for a second. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Let's. Uh, so okay. So I think what we're going to do then is this button right here is going to suck all the air back in, and then this one is going to let it back in the area. So let's get, how do we do this, right here. Oh, we need to group up all the vents real quick. Uh, vent. So we're gonna grab the, I think the med bay one is the only one we care about, but we can also use the airlock one since we don't use that anymore. So we're gonna group these into base vents. There we go, and then now we can stick those on a, uh, on a thing here. Base vents, yeah, okay, so base vents we're going to do, what is it, depressurize on? We're going to have to experiment with that. If I press that, depressurize on, does that... Because we are pressurized currently, so now it will depressurize? Yeah, I think it'll depressurize now. Although, this one seems to be doing stuff, but it's also red, which is really probably a bug. Why are you... Because it's off. What the heck? That was so weird. <laughs> it was off, but it was still doing it. You saw that? That was weird. Okay, but now it's depressurizing, so... Yeah, we can check that out, and it's depressurizing. So the other one's going to be pressurized. This button right here and eventually we'll probably remove this once this room over here is pressurized but for now we uh we do need it and we'll probably duplicate this uh this button panel here um depressurize off there we go okay so now we can press that one and it should start pressurizing again and that will be uh that will be that yep okay it's pressurizing now all right let's go ahead and depressurize so we can open this door and i really need to add more vents everywhere so it goes a little faster because right now i think it's at a snail's pace of depressurizing. Pretty much we have to de hit the depressurize button, go play a couple games of tic-tac-toe, and then come back and it'll maybe be <laughs> depressurized by the time we're done. You know what, should we do that now? Should we just add a bunch of vents? How easy would it be? Would it be easy? Oh, we've got these though. If we wanted the base to look ugly, it would be super easy to do this. Because we could just stick a, a big thing in, on every one of these and have vents on them. But I don't know if that's what we want to do. What we could do, I guess, is we could stick a vent here for sure. Stick one right there. And we can go and build that. Looks like we need steel plate. Oh, wait, hang on. So, what was it? Control? Shit. Halt? How did you... How did you do the build planner thing? Oh, hang on. It's depressurized so much that I need my thing now. How did you do the build planner? Wait, is it not working anymore? <laughs> I guess one. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Components added to build planner. I forget, like, every episode, I'm like, what, what was that again? And then here's where I do the... Yeah, okay, 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 that's how you do it. <laughs> Alright, motors. Last thing we need. Um, shoot, it grabbed all the stuff I needed over there as well. Is there a quick button to clear the build planner? Because that's one thing I need as well. We'll just grab the 10 motors, it'll be fine. Oop, we grabbed 16. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Okay, we'll go in here. We're going to add this one as well. Air vent, uh, med, bay. This is technically med bay too, so I'm going to add that there. And we're going to go and add that to the group as well, so it starts working with everyone. Air vent, med bay two. Oh, wait, hang on. Air, what's it called? Air vents? What did I call my group of, of vents? What did I call it vents? Base vents. Okay, so I'm going to add this one to it and save that. Okay, awesome. So now you, sh you guys should be all working together. Wait, no, you're probably pressurizing and you're probably deep... Ah! <laughs> Wait, is that, is that what the, what's happening? Yeah, I think that's what's happening. One of them's working against the others. What a trickster. There we go. And hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get this a little faster. This is kind of how I was dreaming the base to be, so everything was, you know, you don't have to do any crazy uh, stuff like keeping your helmet on 24-7 or anything like that. You have buttons to do everything and you can just go in and out and do your stuff. I think it's depressurized now, so we're probably fine. Okay, let's go in here and weld a couple of these things up. You're welded. You're welded. You're welded. Uh, you're almost welded. And awesome. Cool. Yes. Okay. 
So now we should be able to, since those are already in the build planner, we should be able to just go over here and middle mouse button, and it'll hand us everything. Cannot withdraw eight middle grids. 1,000 steel plates. Oh, little, little freeze there. Oh man, the game was not liking it when I was doing the, uh, when I was trying to fix that room over there. It kept stuttering like every few seconds when I was doing that. It was not a fun time for Andrew. Can I withdraw a bunch of steel plates? We should have everything now. We should have almost everything. Just needs a couple more steel plates. Well, maybe not, maybe a little more than a couple more steel plates. And then a couple more metal grids and stuff. There we go. No, wait, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I thought we had withdrew it. Wait, it, did, it barely withdrew anything. What the heck? No! <laughs> Hang on, we need to go to production and make ourselves a bunch more steel plates. That was weird. Why did it make... Okay, that was weird. It made 3,800 even though I was control shift clicking. And then probably want to make some more metal grids since that was the other major thing we were out of. Narrow. Build. Okay, that's that one. And then finally, well, that's technically built up. So is everything built up? You're all built up, you're built up, you're built up, and you're built up. Okay, so everything is now built up. The next thing we need to do is make sure that they're all connected up top. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go grab my components that I know that I will need for that sort of building. So I know I'm gonna need, we're almost out of construction components, dang man. Okay, build me a bunch of construction components as well. And that's probably gonna go way faster than anything else. Uh, give me all the construction components, give me a couple of interior plates, Give me some motors. What are, what's the other thing? Small steel tubes. Yeah. Okay, give me more more of those. Okay, I think those are the all, all the components you need for uh, conveyors. So we're gonna fly ourselves up there and we're gonna try and connect all of these things. Um, and I think we're gonna use the boring the boring pieces, not not the cool looking ones. Okay, so conveyor tube there, then a what the. Hang on, what the heck? Why is my why is that not a plus anymore? Oh, they changed all the pluses around, I think, as well. Yeah, yeah, they changed all the pluses around. So that's the plus one now. And they also changed, let me show you guys this. They changed the uh, stairs plus as well. So it's not, the stairs isn't a plus anymore like it used to be. It used to be stairs and ramp. It's now, I think, ladder is the one. Yeah, they made it weird. <laughs> But ladder is a plus between ladder, graded half stairs, graded stairs, ramp, stairs. Yeah. So they, they changed all that stuff. And they added a small ship ladder, which is really cool. I think that'll probably be very useful. Especially if you have a ship that you need to, like, get up on. Um, but yeah. Okay, so conveyor junction. Did they add any more? New thing? I guess they added the sorter to this now. So that's the thing. Did they change the conveyor junction? I don't think they did. Okay, they didn't. Good. Okay, conveyor junction there, and we'll just stick a conveyor junction here as well, and then have a, a straight piece going to that. Build these up. Oh, and I turned my light. Oh my god, I forgot I was recording a YouTube video. Dang, man. <laughs> I forgot that lights in, in, uh, in YouTube are so bad. Okay. We can actually step on this, so this is pretty nice. Well, we can also fall through it, so that's not as nice, but whatever. Declare out a little area up here. When will the stutters go away is the question. I don't think they ever will. I think I think that's with us for the rest of our space engineer's career. Is that the last one? Yeah, okay. So we can't connect it to this because this is before the sorter. We want everything to be after the sorter. So, and it's actually not fun that this is on the other side. Like it's not it's not lined up. <laughs> that's a little bit of OCD, minor OCD trying to make everything lined up. Okay, let's do our, our sorters again. Where where is it? There we go. Ah man, I'm not gonna get used to having the, the big one as the as the thumbnail for that. Nope, hang on. See it's throwing me off, man. Did I put the right one there? It's throwing me off. Okay, so I need conveyor junction, then up is conveyor tube, then down is junction. Okay, I've got it. Just takes some getting used to, I guess. Alright. Did that place? Yeah, that placed. Uh, then I think we'll go with the middle one to bring it over. And we'll do... Actually, no, we'll do up here. We'll, we'll, we'll do the turn right here. And then turn back. And straight. Awesome! 
Let's weld it. Weld, weld, weld the junction. Weld before the blocks come. Need construction points. Do we now? Aye, we do. It looks like motors don't go down that fast with these. You'd think I would have learned this after building so many conveyors, which ones are needed more than others, but nope. <laughs> need more stuff so we need more uh, of these specifically so we'll just grab 200 of those did i only make 300 and i've already used them all we'll make a thousand we'll make 2000 so we'll never have to use them again until next episode <laughs> when we when we run out of them again let's grab maybe another hundred of those maybe another hundred of those and i think we're good welding the best part of space engineers do you know if we so desired, we could have made this welding process like 10 times slower. Like that's the normal space engineering setting is having it really slow. Which is fine if you're doing like a heavy survival episode, like epic, you know, like we did Space Engineers Apocalypse. It kind of, uh, it kind of emphasizes the need for ships and stuff. Oh my god, this looks like a bunch of normal blocks just strewn about and I kind of really love it. <laughs> because they're not normal, they're not gonna, they're not gonna affect the, um, the world like a bunch of floating objects would, even though they kind of look like they're a bunch of floating objects. That's really cool. I like it. You know what I would really like, actually? Okay, so you see how big this block is right here? What if, for small blocks like that, they cut Energy it into fourths? Low. So you have a fourth right there, a fourth right there, a fourth right there, and a fourth right there. And then you could choose to place these blocks right here in those fourths selectively. That would be really cool. Uh, what did I see? I think Minecraft mods. One of the Minecraft mods did that, and it was really cool. You could... You could build, like, smaller stuff, which is kind of super awesome. It's not that many of those. Grab 200 of those, and then we need a couple more. Did we leave room? We did. What are we missing? I feel like we're not missing anything. Okay. Let's finish this up. We're almost out of energy, but it should last us until we finish this stuff. So sure, hydrogen. That one, and there's that one. Okay, everything is now connected, so, uh, for the, I forgot, the, for the refineries, do we have to set up some, like, hang on, refinery, do we have to set up some sort of, like, thing for them to work together, or do they just automatically, I think they just automatically work together, the problem that we're going to have, I think, is that one's going to try and hoard everything, which is really where Izzy's, uh, inventory manager script comes into play, but we're not using that, so, um, this will be interesting, what we'll do for now, I guess, is we'll just go in here, We'll just do it manually, for now. Uh, so we get the refinery, and we can we can shift stuff into other stuff. So for instance, the cobalt right here, we're gonna bring like a two five thousand of that into there. Then we're gonna do the same for this one, five thousand. And it's not really that important because um, we're, we don't have a bunch like we don't have a long queue or a long pipeline of things that need to be done like right now, but. It's fine. We'll just put those in there, and that should that should drastically improve our our, uh, our speed of refining this cobalt. Five thousand, and we'll do one more. I think we have one more. Yeah, five thousand. Awesome. Okay, so now that room is actually built. Uh, do we want to build? Mm, I kind of I kind of want to go work on the hangar instead of energy building. Critical. Okay, we are energy critical. I kind of want to go work on the hangar instead of building the uh, the thing, the the room, the actual room for that. So we'll probably do that next episode because of laziness. <laughs> we'll build the actual room in there so it's pressurized and we can have a fully pressurized base. For now, we'll just keep the door closed. Honestly, we could just live like that. Like we could keep the door. That looks kind of cool. We could keep the door closed just 24/7 because why would we ever need to go into this room really? I mean, in real life scenario, we'd obviously need to go and check on the, the equipment, but in Space Engineers, that's technically a room you can just set up and then be fine with, like, leaving it there. So, how fast do you work? Okay, you work kind of, well, it, it has a lot of room to grow, room, room to improve, if you will. We're going to, uh, we're going to cut off that, because we're going to, we're about to open the door again, <laughs> so... Okay, let's remove this stuff. We're pretty much just going to grab a bunch of steel plates and we're just going to go and uh, work in the mines. Or in the hangar, which is almost a mine. Now, was I smart here and did I close both doors? Oh, right. I can just close this door. I forgot. Oops. Yeah, I forgot I had a little airlock there. Okay. Um, I don't have a button here yet, so let's probably do that. Uh, I don't know if we'll... I guess we'll have the button right here or something. 
That's another thing that would be really nice is buttons that were that are slanted so you could stick them like that. Another another awesome space engineers feature. You know what? We won't put the button up. It's fine. For now, we'll just go here. We have a hangar door, station A, and we can turn that on. Oh, wait. I said I was going to name the stations, didn't I? Oh, man. Let's do that. Yeah, I said I was going to name the stations after Patreon names because it's one of the perks, and I don't build ships all that often. So it would be nice to name uh, something after after the people who deserve the perk. So let's, let's name the stations. Give me a second to build an LCD, and we'll name it. All right, we've gone ahead and named the station. So welcome to Grand Ethbeth Station, named after Ethbeth Doge, one of our patrons. Um, and this, this is this is gonna be our home station, Grand Ethbeth Station. And then when we go to the other one, which we will in a second, as soon as I figure out how to drive this thing, let's make sure this still works, by the way, because <laughs> I did make a lot of changes to the tracks when I was adding things to, uh, or when I was cha adding it to the other grids. So we'll make sure it still works. This is a good test. Travel at a decent speed. And we're headed to our other station, which is also named after a patron. Oh, I, I used the... You know what? I'll tell you when we get to this one, because you'll see it uh, here as well. I was going to use the original LC... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not a good sign. What did I do? I did something. I did something. What did I do? Because I, I... Oh, that's what I did. I kept this in here. So that's what I use pretty much to, uh, to, to... You know, I had to fly the grid pretty much into the other grid. So I pretty much made a cockpit and flew it there. Oh, you know, what are we doing? We should totally use, hang on, hang on, hang on real quick while we're here. I know I like to go on tangents like this, but uh, we need a flight. What's, what's it called? A uh, cockpit? What do they, what the heck do they call this? <laughs> um, seat? Yeah, okay, the small control seat. Requires two displays, 15 computers, one motor, construction components, interior plates. Is that the same thing as the cockpit? I hope it is. We'll see, I guess, right here. Uh, yeah, it looks like it might be... Wait, how many motors did you require? Did you require more motors? No, you did not require more motors. 15 construction components. You do require more construction components. Do we have... No, we don't. Wait. We do. Okay. We'll remove this. And we'll add the seat. Because I want to try this thing out. Oh, man. It goes on... Okay, hang on. Stick it right there. Actually, when we have it like this, we can probably put a block in the front. That would be nice. Are you kidding me? We don't have the interior plates? Do you have interior plates? No. Yes. You have one, but we need more than one. All right, hang on. We're flying. Man, I don't understand why they sometimes make these things require different stuff. So if you try and transfer one to the other one, you have you, you end up with problems. Um, okay, I don't know what we want to put on the front here. Maybe, I don't know. Does that look good? Something like that. And we can probably stick this light back on. <laughs> I don't want to lose my light. Uh, spot. It's called Spotlight, I believe. That's the hardest part of Space Engineers, man, is knowing knowing the names for all the stuff. Like what it's called. There we go. Okay, so now with this, yeah, it works the same as the normal thing, but it looks cooler. It looks more natural than having a cockpit or something. And what we were going to do originally anyways was we were going to have a seat that used a remote control to control this thing. But no, this works much better. It looks much better. And it works much better. It's got a lot of buttons too. That's kind of cool. It's only got one one monitor though. We can put like our face on there or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's get through this turn. We're going really slow, so it might be interesting. Oh, come on, is there something else in the way? No, it's just it's just the thing being the thing. There we go. So okay, so it makes it through it when we go at a nice speed. That's interesting though. It, it must be something to do with when it was like before. It was just a like a grid that wasn't attached to the main grid. But now it's like the main grid, so maybe, I don't know, maybe something happened there. Oh, we gotta stop this thing. I forgot it stops really slowly. Alright guys, welcome to Orvishana Station, named after Orvishana from uh, one of the patrons. It's, uh, oh, one of the things I wanted to show you guys, we're using the new uh, transparent LCDs. So you can see the block behind it. So if I were to change the color of that block, it would have it would match. Which is really nice, because I didn't like the look of the LCD on the uh, on the station. So it's actually a really good thing to come, uh, come and help me out. Hey, look, our shadow. I like it. Okay, Orvishana. Welcome to Orvishana Station. Grand Central Station. You guys know what that's from? <laughs> that's like the one thing I think of whenever I think of stations now. Grand Central Station. <laughs> um, I forget his name. Oh man, I forgot the actor's name. The dude who played Marty in uh, in Madagascar. 
Okay, we're going to weld up a bunch of these things because we're going to do some work on the hangar. I don't know exactly what we want to do. A lot of you guys were saying we should probably close off the hangar, but I'm also skeptical considering... Wait, where's my light? Oh, that just looked weird for a second. I'm also skeptical considering the size of the gap is uh, ginormous. <laughs> that big red barely fits in here. So, I don't know. We could maybe put... I don't know. We could dig more if you guys really want to. But I feel like if we if we decide to dig more, we'll be digging forever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea. Uh, let's let's just keep welding blocks. How about that? When in doubt, weld it out, as they say in in the space engineer uh, community. <laughs> Common phrase that one. We're out of steel plates. I wonder if we brought any. We did. Not that many, though. But we did. Wait, do we have uranium in there? What on earth? Maybe this was out of power and we had to power it with uranium. I forgot. <laughs> oh, what was really nice, by the way, is technically for, for each segment that I was saying, I had to fly it into the other segment to make it part of the same grid. But for this one, it actually worked properly. Like, I, I put the... the uh, the things, the connector blocks right next to each or the merge blocks right next to each other, and it just merged. So this part was easy. It was the other part closer to the base that was a little bit more difficult. And I'm very glad, because otherwise I would have had to completely like remove all this stuff and then re-add it back, which uh, would have been a pain in the butt. Okay. Oh, wait, this is going to give us a good opportunity to use those uh, stairs. And I think we might do it right here or something. Yeah, maybe right here. We'll have those stairs kind of in this corner, so you... you uh... yeah, yeah, okay, I like it. We're gonna grab the stairs. Oh, we already have them, because we have the ladder out, don't we? Yeah! So I'm gonna grab, and I wonder if they use interior blocks. Oh, wait, hang on. I want to try this real quick. It's a ladder. Okay, so that's, that's the ladder right there. It's like the same size as a normal ladder, it looks like. So I could actually stick that right there, and then if I build it up, which I can't, because I need small steel tubes. But if I have small steel tubes magically, which I do, then I should be able to use... I also need interior plates. But if I also have magical interior plates... <laughs> man, welding ships are amazing. Then I can build it up and I can walk. Yay! Without using my jetpack, but it automatically turns on my jetpack. So, I mean, it's fine though. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, oh, right. Stairs. We keep getting distracted. The stars. See, those are the old stairs, but these are the new stairs. Oh, you can do a half one, too, so it's, like, really small. That's kind of cool. I don't think we need to do the half one, though. Oh, and they work on small ships, too! No, wait, they don't. They don't work on small ships. I lie. <laughs> they just look like they work on small ships for a second, but no, they don't actually work on small ships. Okay, we're gonna do normal stairs. Uh, they're very... wow. I guess they, they don't want to take up that much space. Construction components. Does our ship magically have construction components? Yeah, it does. Man, this thing has everything. I'm very, I'm very happy with that ship. So we're gonna go down two, I think. And this is gonna require jetpack use as well, so, uh, yeah. And you know what I think we might do? Oh, they took that away as well. Okay, so what I used to do, if I'm, if I'm doing this, like if I have a slanted block out and I wanna turn into like this block right here with, without having to actually do that and be lazy, I just tap it again and it would turn back to the the normal block. So I tap it twice and it turned back to this block automatically. But now, if I'm on like some weird block and I tap it, it doesn't do it. it. Doesn't do it anymore. So was that was that a bug that they fixed or a feature that they lost? Is the question. <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, I guess it's for them to know and us to find out. All right, let's. Uh, and I, th I think we're just gonna keep these blocks right here unfinished because it looks fine. It's it's not that bad. Um. Oh, wait, they added grates, too, didn't they? Hang on. I think they did. So if I press G and go to Catwalk, would that be under? Yeah. I don't know. I really like a lot of the blocks they added. I think they're they're really awesome. This grate block is one that I think people have been asking for for a super long time. So uh, good job, Keen, for adding that in a decorative pack, but still. Uh, there we go. See, that doesn't even look half bad if it's not built. I mean, you could use this for other things, maybe. Oh, but it requires girders. Ew. This, this, we wouldn't have girders in here, would we? No. Oh my god, incredible! We actually have girders in there! Wow, that obscure thing that nothing usually uses except for windows. <laughs> and we, we managed to have them. 
We don't have enough, but uh, oh, that's so weird. Why did these require girders, but these do not? That's a bit inconsistent, I would say. That's weird. Yeah, it was really weird. Let's get back to our stare, our staring contest. Hey. <laughs> Although I don't think we can build it like this properly. Yeah. We need to add some sort of intermediate block. It's gonna be right there. So what we can do is we could do let's go down one and then down another one. We're gonna have to mine out a little bit of this anyway. Unless we don't. Wait, hang on, hang on. Ooh, a good idea. What if we do this? Boom. And then a grate here, and it goes to here, and you can walk around on this. So we use the uh, we use the environment to our advantage at that point. So then use this one, which kind of goes straight. Yeah, I think that's what we want. We have to use it again, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. Let's build it up, see how it works. We're at small steel tubes anyway. But yeah, we can use that. We can go here, and then we could probably do the stairs somewhere else. I don't know, unless we want to completely remove this, which we could. I, in fact, I might be thinking about that. Yeah. Because what I really want to do is have the stairs continue down like that and go all the way to the ground floor. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what we do. That, I think that's what we do. It'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Let's continue down. We need, uh... How are you... Why? Unable to place... Why, why are you unable to place that? That makes me sad. You place it up there, but you can't place it down there. Why not? That you, you should be connecting right to the stairs, shouldn't you? Unless that's not how that works, which might be the case. I guess we'll do something like that. Yeah, I mean, it. it's fine, but it kind of also makes me super scared. Oh my god, I accidentally... Okay, whatever. I don't need that one anymore. Uh, it kind of makes me super scared because I'm worried that maybe if I delete this block... Yep, that would be the case. How come you don't connect to any of these blocks? Do I seriously need to have something right next to you for you to work? That's annoying. I feel like... Hang on, okay, so this takes up this space right here. And this takes up this space right here. So a block that takes up... This takes up here. So a block that takes up this space should connect to this one as well. Isn't that how that should work? I don't know. Maybe that's a bug. Because uh, I feel like that should be the connection that should work. But, you know what, for now what we'll do is we'll we'll just have it surrounded by these things. <laughs> and it might look ugly at first, but we'll grow to like it eventually, maybe. There we go. It's going to look really weird, though. I went down, down, down to the burning ring of fire. Okay. See, that does, that's not terrible, but honestly, I feel like it shouldn't require that. That should not be a thing that's needed for, for it to work. Um, if I had my way, that that's how it would be. These blocks right here would connect, like this one right here would connect to that one. And then this top one right here would connect to this one. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how blocks are supposed to work. <laughs> okay. Um, let's build up our little, our little uh, thing. Maybe we'll redo this eventually once, like, maybe I'm overlooking something and you guys know how it should work. And I just don't see it. It's entirely possible. We're out of small steel tubes, but I know for a fact that we have a bunch of those waiting for us right up here. As well as a nice fresh supply of hydrogen. Which is nice. Uh, okay. Oops. Didn't mean to take the motors. We can jump down that without taking damage damage. That's nice. And we're pretty much on the ground, so I think at this point what we would do is we just do a a, uh, a third one. But we need, we need another one of those. Yeah, like that. Uh, one way I guess I could get around this is if I did some sort of... Um, like if I had windows on the side. that It would kind of look transparent, but at the same time it wouldn't be. I don't know. Narrow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like this. Okay, so we have a nice little way to get down now. And we probably need to fix that in the future to make it look nicer. But uh, but for now, it works pretty well. Now, as far as the hangar itself goes, I'm still not entirely sure what we want to do with this thing. But I think we are going to make some some smaller hangars for these things. And I think the way we might do that... Let's, here, let's grab our ship. 
Wait, actually, first let's let's get in this thing and fly it. No fuel. What do you mean no fuel? I've got fuel. Can we move the engine mobile or the A-mobile? Yeah, okay, we're gonna move the A-mobile to the side a little bit, and then cut the power off this thing. Oh, oh, I'm in a precarious situation. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now we do have that big. Um, what did we call this ship again? I forgot. We named it after somebody. The um, what do we call it? Control panel beacon. The lobbyzinator. The lobbyzinator. <laughs> Every time I say it, I have to say it like that. But we can now take this thing. And I don't know if the gap is small enough that this will work properly. But we shall see. We shall see indeed. I don't think the lobbyzinator is that big. It just looks big when it's on top of big red. Okay, go to the side. Oops. Okay, I think the lobbyzinator might be a little too large for this. But maybe we can, like, turn it and do something cheeky. Yeah, do something cheeky like this. And that this will be like a little area for the um, for the smaller ships. They'll go back in this little corner. Kind of right under the station, so it's going to be kind of cool. A cheeky Lobbizinator play. Look at this. 10,000 IQ plays right here from the Andrew Man Gaming channel. <laughs> okay, looks nice. Looks nice. Looks good. Okay, I know you guys can't see anything in there, and don't worry, I can't either. It's not its not YouTube doing weird stuff with compression. Uh, by the way, actually, you know what? Uh, this, this video will probably, if I remembered correctly, and you can check this, will probably be rendered out in uh, 14 whatever P. The, the, the higher P than 1080P. The one higher, 1440, I think it is. Uh, so let me know if it looks better. And it's actually recorded in 1080P. But I'm going to render it out in a higher resolution in hopes that YouTube uh, sees that higher resolution and gives it a better uh, bitrate. And the bitrate is basically what makes it not pixelated. <laughs> if you ever see pixelation, which happens a lot in dark scenes like this. So if this scene right here looks like crap, you can tell me. You can say, hey, it looks like crap. And if it looks good, you can be like, oh, Andrew, it worked. It looks good. Uh, okay, so that's fine for those ships, I think. We're going we're gonna to use that. And cut that off. Pew! I really like all these random ships we've got. Like the Lobbizinator has its own purpose. The the A well, these actually have like no purpose right now. So you know what? Scratch that. <laughs> I still love them, but they they may or may not have a purpose sometimes. Okay. Um, we're going to do this. We're gonna make a nice pillar right here that will come up and meet this. Okay, so we're going to have a nice pillar on that side, and we're going to do the same on the other side as well. It doesn't really have to be connected at the bottom since it's already connected at the top. So a nice pillar. And let me, let me count this out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight space. Eight area. Oh, we need steel plates. Well, I can take those. At least we know now that we have eight space. Okay, and connectatron. Oh, we have to connect it like that. Okay, so now, yeah, that looks decent. That's a decent hangar. I don't think I don't know if we want to floor it. I don't know if we're gonna go that far, but uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. I like the idea of kind of a, you know, it's 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 more like a cave that's been repossessed is what it's gonna look like in the end, I think. So let's hop in this thing and fly it over into its hangar, and we'll we'll try and drive the A mobile. I don't know if we can fix this because we have reactor components, so it's kind of sketchy, but we'll we'll try and fly this thing, at least. Oops, we're running into the lobbies and nope, we're running into the Oh shoot, I forgot this thing has really hard ability to uh, to tilt. We gotta we gotta really tease it in here a little bit. And in fact, you know what? You know what? I planned for the future, so we're gonna back in. Look at that. There we go. And I actually turned around really fast there, that was kinda scary. Uh, v. Back in a little bit. It's not very straight, which is probably something to be improved, but at least we have a nice little hanger for it. Please don't tilt over. Ow. <laughs> okay, can we manage to get the uh, the Andrew mobile in there? I don't think we can because it's out of power still. Yeah, no it's totally fuel. out of fuel. So we're going to have to come back with, with uh, three reactor components and fix that, and then we'll be able to get it into its little hangar. Um, all right, I like where this is coming along. I think we've got a good setup going here for sure. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, next episode, we'll probably try and do a little bit more work on this. We might even try and pressurize that room that we built today. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do in, with regards to the rest of the hangar. Um, 
in next episode. But um, but yeah, uh, this episode is going to be a little bit less edited because I tried to talk more and have less blank space that I had to edit out. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, to try and make more episodes faster because I've kind of been going a little bit slow with the whole video creation. So I'm trying to make things go a little bit faster. If you like this style, let me know. If you don't like this style, also let me know um, in the comments below. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers. Hasta la vista, baby.